My occasional sidekick, Dan, off of Danimatics, made a video about a week ago called The Fun Tag, and I got bored on Wednesday, decided to do it on my second channel. He watched my version of The Fun Tag, became quite offended and upset by it, and made a response on his second channel, in which he said that if I wasn't happy with the way that he made a tag video, I should just make my own. So that is exactly what I have done. It is my absolute pleasure to welcome you to the Mad Zors Tag Zors. Suck it, Dan. Number one, what is your favorite kind of shark? Gotta go classic, Carcharodon Carcarius, otherwise known as the Great White Shark. Honorable mention to tiger sharks, because I think tiger sharks look super cool. Number two, name three things that piss you off on the reg. Number one, slow walking people. Number two, people in my uni classes that think they're super indie and quirky. And number three, Martha from High School Musical. Number three, what is the most disturbing thing that you've ever watched on purpose? It is called Married to the Eiffel Tower. You can watch the whole thing on YouTube. And it's about people that are sexually and romantically attracted to inanimate objects. And at the end, a woman literally has sex with the Eiffel Tower. Number four, insert a photo here that will piss someone else off. Number five, tell us about your stupidest injury. One time I dropped a baguette on my foot and cut my toe open. Number six, what is a movie or TV show that has awakened something within you and what is that thing? I have an obsession with drummers that I can trace back exactly to when School of Rock came out and I was obsessed with Freddie Jones. Number seven, you're walking through the bush and all of a sudden a drop bear lands in front of you. What is your weapon of choice? Prayer. Number eight, do a shot, because there's still 21 more questions to go. Now, you don't have to use alcohol. If you're like 13 and you're not into that, that's totally fine. I feel this too much. Lahayan. It's like 3.30. <laughs> Question nine. <coughs> what is your favorite thing to do with a tiny baby hand? Number 10, this one's really important. Who's your favorite Backstreet Boy? Scubby Brian. Number 11, what is the furthest you have ever taken a joke without it being too far? Australia Day 2011, I was at a party at one of my friend's houses getting drunk and having a barbecue, because that's what one does on Australia Day. And a few of us were playing a quite thorough game of Would You Rather. Long story short, there is now a Facebook page that I will link below that I went home and made after that Australia Day party called So You Wanna Be a Top Half Merman. And it is a page for a reality show in which several fish compete to become a top half merman. You can look at the judges, you can look at each of the contestants, they all have names and like character descriptions. Number 12, have you yet mastered the dishwasher? Why yes I have, thank you for asking. I'm still a bit patchy on how to like stack bowls. Number 13, pick five people, real or fictional, living or dead, that would combine to make you. Personality-wise, not visually. For me, it would obviously just be like Beyonce. And then a little bit of vanilla. So <laughs> Honey Boo Boo, Miranda Sings, that fat little kid King Curtis off Wife Swap that says Chicken Nuggets is his family. Anna at the start of Frozen, when she like literally is lying on top of Elsa saying the sky's awake so I'm awake so we have to play, that is me to a T. My fifth one is Zane, because we're both really mysterious. Number 14, what'd you order at Nando's? Regular classic wrap made with lemon and herb sauce, diet coke, creamy chip dip, and no peri peri on the chips, motherfuckers. Question the 15th, what is your second favorite animal? Octopus. Question number 16, why did you do it? Because I was really tired and like I'd been on school camp all week and I just like, I wanted to go to sleep. Number 17, reenact your favorite Jedward video. I will link to their channel in the description just in case you don't already have one, which you definitely should. Hey, Eddard, what's wrong? I'm bored of normal cereal. Well, Eddard, I was just at the shop and I got doggios. Doggy what? Doggios. Every box of doggios comes with a free dog. Eddard, what did you get? I got a chihuahua. Hey Eddard, what are you gonna call your dog? Blaze. Number 18, fuck, marry, kill, one direction. And the two that you don't pick, you have to sew together. Fuck Zane, marry Liam, kill Louie, which does make me sad, but I feel like if I were to sew together Harry and Niall, they'd be okay with that. 
Number 19, fit as many excuses for not making a video as you can into 15 seconds. Busy, was sick, had too much uni work, hate you all, got broken up with, my camera broke, my SD card broke, my internet broke, um, MC was really mad at me and I started crying, MC stole a video clip that I wanted to use, my hamster died, my parents hate me, and also chicken nuggets ran out of the supermarket. Question the 20th, lip sync to the song that best describes your life. I am a miracle child. Question 21, what is something that you wish that you could unsee? Spider porn. Question 22, have you ever accidentally done magic? One time in Gracetown, I shut a door from like super far away by just going like that, and there was no wind and I have witnesses. Also, the other time, this wasn't so much accidentally doing magic as like it accidentally working. And I can tell this story now because I told Tom about it like two weeks ago. But basically, in year 12, Sussy, who's my god sister, and I did some witchcraft because we were bored. And um, long story short, Tom and his girlfriend ended up breaking up the next day. So, since that <laughs> since that happened, I don't fuck with witchcraft because I've made it work once. And I don't want that kind of juju in my life. <laughs> Number 23. What is your favorite form of chicken? It's a two-way tie between TGI Friday chicken fingers and in its sandwich. 24. Post a really candid selfie. 25. When was your awkward phase and why was it bad? Twas between the ages of 10 and a half and 12 and a half. I had not yet tamed my eyebrows, had discovered makeup, parted my hair in the middle and did a low ponytail basically every day. It was vaguely orange because I tried to dye it blonde by myself and despite all this, I was extremely overconfident. So, in a way I deserved it. Question 26, show us your blankie. <laughs> If you don't have a blankie, you have an equivalent. Everyone has the equivalent to a blankie. So show it to us. Number 27, how'd you die in a past life? I get vibes about like certain periods in history. Like in ancient Egypt, I'm pretty sure I was chill. Ancient Rome, I definitely came from like an awesome, powerful family. And I'm equally as positive that I had a really fucked up death during the Crusades. There was definitely some kind of like dismemberment or like burning involved in my death during the crusades. Possibly cannibalism. So it's a sore spot for me. Question 28. What is your favorite maritime tragedy? Hands down has to be the mutiny of the Batavia. Basically, this ship wrecked off the coast of Western Australia on the Abrolhos Islands in like the early 1600s. I want to say like 1628, correct me if I'm wrong. And everyone just went fucking nuts. Final question number 29. There's a train going north at approximately 140 miles per hour. The wind is blowing southeast at about 50 miles an hour. The train is carrying a cargo of coal, marshmallows, and human trafficking slaves. If the sun begins to set at approximately 7.30 p.m., then how much better was this video than Dan's? All right, so thank you for watching the Madzors Tagzors. I would like all of you to do this tag. If you tweet me the link to your video or comment on this saying that you've done it, I will watch it and I will love my life because these are fantastic questions. The people I would like to specifically tag are Rat Shackles, Veg Untold, Neon Fiona, everyone on Because the Internet, my dad, Ray Roberts Films, Jake Shown Videos, you gotta do it, and your mags just did a tweet about McNuggets, so you're definitely doing this now. Jedward, and the final person that I'm going to specifically tag to do this video is Miranda Sings. I hope that you all have a fantastic day. Be kind to Dan, because he's in a very fragile state at the moment. And I will see you in a few days. Goodbye. <laughs> Honorable mention also goes to bull sharks, because they look awesome. Not bull sharks, fuck off. Why did I get so, like, offended by myself just then? <laughs>